Hey, what up, guys? It's your boy, Deo, and I'm here to talk to you guys about being the best. Now, what does it mean to be the best, especially in speedrunning, which is what I do? Well, it means that your time is like the world record. You're better than everyone else at it. And um, to me, like, why, why do we care about, like, being the best? Why does it matter? Why have I spent the last seven years of my life, like, chipping away at this one speedrun to try to like hopefully get world record and i've like thought about it for a second i've gotten a few i think i have it narrowed down to a few kind of like key concepts and the first one i wanted to talk about was recognition now the the first and most obvious reason you'd want like to have a world record is to be recognized for all your effort by the kind of community and by, by anybody for like accomplishing something you kind of want to accomplish something and, and be recognized for that um you know i've spent like i said i spent the last seven years on it and to like just end it at number two it doesn't feel right it doesn't feel like I'm, I'm gonna get the recognition that i feel like i deserve perhaps um another thing i wanted to talk about was like self-progress that's like a key aspect not just in becoming the best at speed running but just in like just becoming the best you can be at anything is that you're kind of chipping at it every day and you're kind of like becoming a healthier, better version. You're becoming the best version of yourself, really, which means not just like getting good at the, at the game, in my case, but also like kind of taking care of yourself and not getting too fucking, you know, messed up. I don't know. Just like leading a healthy life to where, you know, you can, you can be your best. And so it's like self-progress in that other sense. So another reason you're going to want to be the best at something is to get closure on it. And I was kind of alluding to this earlier about having played the game for so long is that where do I stop? Where does the goal end? Is you just end the goal at like some arbitrary, okay, when I get this time, then I'm done. A lot, that's what a lot of people do. Um, a lot of people I've seen play Spire 1, they're like, all right, I'm going to get a sub 140 or a sub 150 and then I'm done for a while or a sub 130 and then I'm done for a while. And I had all those goals too when I was kind of going through it. And as I beat each goal, I got this feeling like, well, I've already come this far. Why not do better? You know? And it's just been this endless. Now my PB is a 122. I'm like 12 seconds away from a world record at the time of recording this video. And like, why, why would I stop now? You know, after all this time and effort and pain and sorrow and all the happiness and everything in between. Why stop now? I want closure. And to me, getting like world record, I guess you could say that's like closure. But it's, but in a way, it's arbitrary because this kind of brings me to my next point is about the idea of competition, especially in speedrunning, is, you know, you're not like going head to head with anybody. It's just you in the game, right? So when we talk about like competition and like trying to beat somebody's time in a game, um, there can be definitely an element of like healthy sportsmanship to that and exciting, like kind of trying to push the game down together. Um, and I've definitely felt that friendship and camaraderie with other runners. But at the same time, like, you also, deep down, you kind of feel this sense of, like, fear. Like, whenever someone's kind of has a time that's coming up on yours, and you're like, oh, shit. Or say someone beats your time, and you're like, fuck. Like, now I'm bumped down one more spot on the leaderboard. That's happened to me several times throughout the years. Um, a great example is a guy named Gazco, who came along when I was, like, five years deep into running. And he beat my PB by, like, two minutes almost. And this was at the time I had a 127. He got a high 125, which is still his PB today. Um, and I was just, I remember when that happened, I felt like, I felt like a, a fool. I felt like I looked like a fool. I was like, come on, man. Like, you know, I don't want this to be a competitive thing, but I can't help but feel that fear when you are like, when you do feel like you have a good time and you, you know, you want to be proud of that and have like the recognition. It's like the shit, it shit just like ties into each other like that. And so there's like that healthy competitive spirit of pushing the game down and, you know, getting the game to be the best it's be, it's going to be, um, which kind of gets into my next point about history. But also there's like the fear that you're going to, you know, that, I don't know, that the fear that you're going to get crushed, that you're going to get defeated. Your ego is going to get defeated. You know what I mean? Like, and what is that even, you know, like your ego, like, what does that even matter? You know, what does it matter that like you have a number one spot on a leaderboard? You, you don't get any money for that. You don't get like, you don't get a special medal when that happens. I, I mean, except next to your name on a, it's on a website, arbitrary website. It says, all right, here's your username at number one. And he, and like where people are spending their whole lives, 
working to get close to that, sacrificing like their like their social lives and their this and that, like just to just to spend more time grinding the game, you know, and <laughs> it's like so silly, like for what, right? Um, and that's definitely a fair way of assessing it. But I think um, at the end of the day, and this is the last thing I wanted to touch on, is that I think one of the coolest parts about speedrunning is that you get to affect the the history of a game. You get to like actually, like if you watch a summoning salt video, <laughs> you know, it's like this inspirational thing of like, then he worked so hard and then he finally did it, you know, and now the game has changed forever, you know, and then this trick was found and then the game was changed forever. Like any person who plays the game from now on in that sense or for a speed run or for anything, you know, and they, they look up speed runs, they're going to see your name, you know, you're in that way you, you etch your name into like history. And that's like something, it becomes like bigger than yourself. It's not, again, it's, at this point, I'm not even talking about the ego, like, oh, I'm so cool. I'm saying like, wow, we like helped make this game so cool. You know, like here's this big community, something that's bigger than myself. And that's so cool, you know, and that's like, if it weren't for, for example, if it weren't for my live stream, I don't think I would have kept speed running as long as I have in my darkest like moments when I'm like, you know, and having the least amount of fun, I'm like hours deep into just resetting the same few levels. And, you know, the only thing that keeps me going is like the chat being like, you know, you got just talking to the Twitch chat or whatever, like having a sense of community having something that's like where it's bigger than yourself is uh it's it feels totally different to me to like do speed runs locally recorded only i tried doing that in missouri for a week this summer when i was on vacation and i had the exact same setup everything with like the crt and the capture card and everything just it wasn't online because the internet sucked there so i did all my runs locally recorded and i didn't play the game nearly as much because i didn't feel the I don't know. I, I felt like there's like a greater purpose when you're when you're streaming online and you got people who like, you know, confide in you, you know, or, or just people that are just like interested in what you're doing. It's like it adds a whole new layer to the whole thing that um, kind of ties into the, the sense of like you kind of are making an imprint on history, on humanity <laughs> by by getting a world record. And it's by being the best at a speed run, you know. And so I think it's for all those reasons that's like, that's why we want to be the best, you know? And I, the concept of being the best, it's not just for speed running, but that's how I've seen that concept manifest in speed running. And um, hopefully some other, so hopefully you can take this and like apply that to whatever you're fucking trying to do in life. Um, or hope maybe you're even like a speed runner and you're just kind of curious what it, what it looks like from the perspective of someone who has done all that grinding. And for me, I don't regret a second of it. Um, I've dumped probably thousands of hours into, into just my speed game, just into working on speed running and doing runs and practicing strats and learning this and learning that. Um, thousands of hours of just that in Spyro, not even just casual fuckery, you know? So, <laughs> like, you can look at that. It's like, wow, you know, like, that's a lot of time. That's like your, that's a big chunk of your life. But I think it was worth it for all the sort of reasons that I've described. Yeah, and as long as you can walk away w from it, like, thinking that it was worth it, I think it's something worth doing. Uh, yeah, and so that's about it as far as I'm talking about with uh, speed running and becoming the best. Uh, you know, try not to let that concept get to your head, you know what I mean? And just be <laughs> okay with whatever happens, you know? It's, it's hard to be that way, you know, especially when I talk about all these things. These are all, like, very serious kind of heavy things that you only really think to yourself. So it's nice to be able to get it out to a camera. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring this little vlog here to a close and just say thanks for watching. And uh, I hope to be putting out some more videos on this YouTube channel in the future. So stay tuned.